how do you do it? One, define. Figure out what you want to achieve. Go back to the original dream that you had when you were starting out in the business. Create a new dream. Where would you like to be in the future? It must be your plan and your dream. So take some time to figure out exactly what you want to get out of the business. Set short and long-term goals. Number two, method. Now start to figure out how to achieve the result you want. Get some professional advisors on board to help you to produce a method by which you can achieve the outcome that you seek. Decide on what is the best method that can be employed to turn the business into cash. Sale to an external party or sale to an associated party. Or transfer of control but not ownership. Three, evaluate and confirm. Ensure that all the parties involved are in agreement with the plan and that the plan is compatible with their needs and wants. 4. Written plan. Develop a written plan and distribute that plan to all parties. This becomes a plan where you can exit on your own terms. Not because you have to, but because you want to. This is a plan to get you where you want to be and to know how to get there. 5. Valuation. Have a clear understanding of the current value of the business. An objective third party estimate of current market value is essential. With current value established, you can start working on how to maximise the future value. 6. Future value. Once an independent valuation report has been provided, it's possible to then identify the risks in the business and eliminate or reduce those risks to enhance value. Then a projection of future value can be made for the business once those risks are addressed and revenue and profit maximised. 7. Tax. Plan now to manage and minimise tax liability, including capital gains tax, but also to address other potential liabilities now so there'll be no nasty surprises later on. 8. Financials. Review the financials with an eye to maximising profit by reducing or eliminating personal costs and expenses, and maximising margins through the close monitoring of key reports and audits. 9. Key issues. Take some time to sort out any key issues that may impact the value of the business. Things like securing key staff, contracts with key clients, and securing tenure. Ensuring that contracts are locked in wherever possible. By resolving these issues, value is maximised, and the sale process becomes simpler. Think about what a buyer would identify in a due diligence order of the business, and mitigate or eliminate any issue that may concern a buyer. 10. Cultivate. Make time to consider who would be the ideal buyer for your business. Think about how to cultivate that group of potential buyers. Study potential buyers and analyse what they need or want and how you can help them through their acquisition of your business. Start with the courting process when the time is right and you'll create demand for your business if you manage the process properly. 11. Prepare. Start to prepare a marketing plan and a sale process. How much are you going to tell the buyer and at what stage will you provide certain information to them? If you've taken the time to assess the market and to cultivate potential acquirers, you should have a good idea of how to market to them most effectively. 12. Implement. Prepare for the implementation of the plan. Ensure that all the stakeholders are committed and that there are no impediments that are likely to stall the sale. 13. Execute. Push the go button and get started. This is where you get to fully realise your next dream. And it's very exciting and rewarding to see a plan come to fruition, especially when that plan helps you to put significantly more money in your pocket as you walk away. Business owners who plan their exit will usually sell for between 50% to 100% more than those business owners who fail to plan. And now that you know how to do it, what's stopping you?